Hi, Caleb and Steve from Brownells here. And next up in our reloading series, we're going to be talking about primers. So, Steve, let's uh, let's kind of go through a couple of ways to seat primers into cases so that we can be primed for the next operation. I guess you'd call this a primer on primers? A, a, a primer on primers, yes. Primer. Primer. You know what? You, you speak your language, I'll speak mine. <laughs> All right. So, with that being said, uh, we got two methods set up here. We're going to be using a hand priming tool for one. And then over on Steve's side, we have our Lyman turret press that is uh, set up with a priming tool that com that it comes with, the one that's built a on very it. Very ingenious mechanism. Yeah, pretty cool way. So a lot of reloading presses come with different mechanisms to prime. And uh, there are also a variety of hand priming tools you can use. Uh, this Frankfurt Arsenal being one that is very affordable and works very well. This one's actually my favorite, so I use this all the time. And we're set up here, so there's there's two main types of primers. Of course, it, then you have like magnums and stuff, but we're not going to get into that today. So you have large and small primers, right? So we're uh, we're loading for nine mil, so we're going to be using the small primers. If you don't small pistol primers. And if you don't know what size primer to use, Steve, where can we get that information? Oh man, everywhere. Everywhere. But uh, your loading manual is a really good place to start. Yeah, any any loading manual is going to tell you what size primer you need for a yeah. specific cartridge. So. And if you need Magnum or regular primers. Yep, yep, that's another good one as, as well there. So uh, with that being said, we're using the Federal Gold Medals, uh, the small pistol. Wow, match. you didn't go cheap for once. We did, so... You know, there, there's this, I don't know if you've heard or not, but uh, finding primers and just different reloading accessories in general, it can be difficult at times. And uh, we had a bunch of these, so I bought them all. Oh, cool. So cool. That, that's that's kind of why I did that. But yeah, so let's get started. Let's um let's start on your end first with the, the case primer. Okay. Or the, um, my words are not coming out of my mouth today, Steve. So... We have our sizing die set up on top of the ram and then the priming tools behind it. So right. you can do A lot of times if things. your cases are clean and ready to load, you can size them on the upstroke and then on the downstroke you can see the primer on this press and on a lot of other presses as well. So you, you combine two operations in one movement. Well, it's two movements, but it's one cycle, Right. I guess. Yep, exactly. So I'm going to get you set up here. Please um, do. Yeah. Please do. So whenever we're dealing with primers, we always want to wear some iPro. It's a rule. Yeah. Uh, you could call it the prime directive. Hey, this is, he's full of them today. <laughs> All right, so we have this uh, this tube, a drop tube, pickup tube, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And then it comes with a little carter pin here. You yeah. just put that in place with your primers on the table It's got here. a little collet on the front, which is pretty cool. Yep, and then with the anvil facing towards the table, you just put it over them and pick them up. Pick them up just like that. Nice and easy. All right, and then you flip it over and then just make sure they all fell down, which they did. Right. I can hear them shaking around in there. And they're held in place with that clip. And I'll hand this to you. All right. And I'm going to put this, insert this into the priming tube receiver there. I don't know what you'd actually call it. Yeah, well, and then at this point... Uh, you can remove the pin. And the primers fall. Primers fall in. And then you got this guy. This is your shield. And it goes over the primer tube to protect you in case there's an explosion. And it's heavy duty, it's thick. It's over a 16th inch thick. Yeah, so if something happens, everything's going up. Nothing's going right. out. Right. Hopefully up and away from it. <laughs> Hopefully up and away. Then you and have then this. This is a little follower, just like a magazine follower, and it pushes on the primers to make sure they feed properly through the mechanism. Yep. So now we're going to size a case, and then on the downstroke, we'll seat the primer. All right. So this one? Yep, that one looks good. Okay. One nine millimeter case, put it in place. Up into the sizing die. All right, now These are size. new cases, so they don't have primers to pop out. And then we lower it down and insert, there it goes, insert a primer and we have a prime case. Oh, look at that. Nice and easy. Easy enough there. And then to know if your primer is seated at the proper depth, uh, you'll just want to 
take a look at it. Make sure it's not sticking up above the surface of the, the right. actual base of the case there. So you can just run your finger across it and feel, run your fingernail. You can set it on a flat surface and typically if it's sticking out a little bit, it'll favor one side or the other, it'll be kind of wobbly. But this is perfect, this is what it should look like. Yep. In automatic, sometimes you have a little grace and they'll chamber anyway and, and shoot. But in a revolver, they'll tie that sucker up in no time, even if it's just up a little bit. I mean, I was reloading the day before yesterday and I had a primer that was probably no more than five thousandths high. It just didn't, it was a hard primer to seat. And it tied the revolver up. Yeah. And I tried running it through. So, make sure they're all flush. And if you get your loaded ammo, you know, bullet down in your MTM case or whatever, just run your finger across there. You'll feel anything that's sticking up. Yeah, it'll it'll be pretty obvious. It's um it's it's not as tricky as it may seem. Uh, if if you're new to this, it's your first time. And I know we're using pistol cases here, but this priming process is the exact same for rifle. Right. It's you, you don't do anything different. So, size it. And on the way down, when the window's in line, you and I'm doing this cross-handed basically. There we go. And again, we got a nice seated primer, just as it should. And these Federals seat very easily. Yeah, I like good. that. Yeah, nice and easy there. Some some primers seat a little more. Uh, I don't know. They're a little tougher to seat than others. Yeah. Especially with new brass. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've ran into that before too. And uh, but these are going nice and easy. It looks like so. That's good. Mm -hmm. And on this one here, so this Frankfurt Arsenal. It has different shell holders you put in it for different cartridges, and it comes with a bunch of different shell holders. So we're gonna use the number four, which is for nine mil. If you have no idea what number you need, it also comes with this handy dandy chart here that tells you what, what caliber uses what shell holder. Right. So it's nice and easy, and I'll show you here. And this is basically a descendant of the Lee Auto Prime, which came around in the, I think about the 1980s. I started using them immediately when they came on the market. Yeah, so it, it comes with all the holders here. It comes with the, the other stem for the large primers as well. Yeah, that's a nice set. Yeah, everything you need right there in the box, except, of course, the primers. Uh, and then, so you basically just take the primers, pour them into the tray, give the tray a shake. Uh, without the lid on it and the primers will flip over and I'll be face up or face down anvil up is what I'm going for here so everything's anvil up and all you got to do at this point is take a we'll take a case here we'll open that up so the primers can go down in there all right and if you look you can see the primer sitting in there but all you do at this point put your case on and then with the tool or the case fully seated and the tool not pointing at your face, you want to point it away from you. You squeeze it all the way and seat that primer. And then we can slide our case out here. And that's all there is to it. It's primed. Yeah. And some people use that tool the other way around too. I've seen that done. Like, uh, like, like this here? Yeah, that's the way uh, well, the guy that used to work here did that, Matt. All right, so doing it that way, I'll just do one that way here, I guess. So he did it just like this here? Yeah. Okay, interesting. And you've got it pointed away from you when you're, when you're operating it, which is good. Yep. Then you just give it a squeeze, yeah. point it at you guys, and there it is. Okay. Yep. Nice and easy, and these give you a better feel for seating the primer. So you can get them in there without, you know, if you're using a big old handle like this, uh, if, you, if you're just starting out, it's easy to kind of crush them a little bit, you know. So uh, that gives you a nice feel and uh, it's really good for the hand muscles too. Yeah, nice. I like it. It's a workout. Pretty nifty tool. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, priming is super easy. And in the next video, well, that was... Those aren't the size ones, I'll grab this. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about powder, dispensing powder. And also in that video, so for pistol cartridges like this, we gotta flare the case 
before right. we seat the bullet. Right. So we'll go ahead and do powder and case flare both at the same time. And uh, we'll cover pistol and rifle. So that's what's coming up next. Yeah, not many rifle calibers need to be flared, but uh, there's a few. Yep. So with that being said, that's all there is to it when it comes to priming. I'll take my pro off now since we're all done. Right. Yep. And if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, uh, you're watching this on you know what whatever social media you're you know uh, digesting this on, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to help you out. Um, oh, you know where they're going to show this, don't you? We're going to show this on. We're going to try to put it on YouTube. It's definitely going to be on Rumble. It's going to be in prime time. It's, jeez. Uh, all right, we we got to get out of here before I I, I, I got to go. Do I've got a few second. more. Now we'll, we'll cut it off right there. So uh, if you need any help, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.